All right, guys, thank you for being on hold. Uh, so I hope you can see my screen now, correct? Yes, we can. Great. So before starting, as this is our first class, let me just introduce myself. I'm Divya. I have about 7.6 years of experience, IT experience into data analytics. Currently, I'm working as a senior data analyst in one of the MNCs in Hyderabad. So I... You know, I finished my, I completed my master's in data science and I have about four plus years of experience into online trainer. And I have experience in teaching all the subjects, like all the subjects of data science, that is SQL, Tableau, Power BI, Python, statistics and machine learning. Okay, so yeah, this is about me. Today, you all are here to learn the Tableau class, right? The Tableau course, basically. So before starting, uh, I just wanted you to know, I mean, I just wanted to know how, you know, you know, we can, I can see three members here. So just please tell me quickly about you. Like, you know, are you completely new to Tableau and or are you from non-IT backgrounds, IT backgrounds, or do you have some knowledge on SQL like that? Yeah, hi, Dabu. Hi, Dabu. Uh, myself, I am Venkata. Okay. Yeah, uh, I have experience into IT. Uh, I I have been working as a retail developer, uh, okay. and I'm having around uh, like ten plus years of experience into IT. Okay. And even I I worked on IBM Cognos. Uh, there is a reporting tool, right? Long yes, yes. Cognos is uh, almost related. It's almost same. That is also a reporting tool. Yes. Yeah, long time. Okay. Uh, okay. And currently, I'm working on uh, like a retail developer. I'm working. Okay, so you are uh, now you are looking forward to learn Tableau, right? Yeah. So I hope you have a knowledge on SQL as well. Yes, I am. SQL. Okay, great. All right. Yeah. Thank you. And uh, what about you, Monica and Naveen? Uh, hi, Divya. I don't have hi. any experience uh, uh, in IT actually. I'm okay. new to IT. Okay. So I want Tableau. That's why just I registered. <clears throat> okay okay fine i got it uh so yes hello uh yes please navin yes yeah my name is navin 2023 passed out so okay. i recently got a job in wipro as an associate analyst i think it's a non it so okay. the main thing to enroll this course is uh, i have an exam is uh, in october 15th is a uh, tcs npt Achha, okay. for that right, so right, for right. that please enroll this thing Okay, I got it. Thank you. The reason why I'm asking you, in the sense, I'll do the same for every batch so that I can understand, you know, uh, basically in every batch, uh, almost uh, we will have mixed students. We will have some students which are, as as you know, as just now we saw, we have some students already working in uh, IT and they are wanted to learn Tableau. But most of the time, I have many students from non-IT background who are looking forward to transit their career into the IT background. So for that, particularly if there are any non-IT students or non-IT professionals who are who wanted to transit their career into uh, IT background, I can say data analyst is the perfect role because you know in data analytics or data science, their domain knowledge. Yeah, you know, their particular domain knowledge is also useful. That domain knowledge will also add something like an added advantage for people. So that for that reason also, many students for me in many batches, they will, uh, we will have some non-IT students, uh, you know, because, and one more reason. First reason is about, you know, as I, I can say, I personally feel that, uh, if anyone from non-IT wanted to start their career into IT field, instead of choosing some developer roles, if we choose a Tableau role here, no coding will be involved first thing. And the second thing, whatever domain knowledge you have in your particular domain, that domain knowledge is also useful here. So Tableau or Power BI, any visualization tool, if you learn the tools like this, it will be you can start your career easily into the IT, IT domain. For that reason, I will ask, you know, basically, so that I can understand, you know, for, I mean, uh, of course, of course, if I have all the experience on IT students also, I will try to explain everything from scratch. 
as we have mixed students as mostly every time we will have mixed students so i will explain everything from scratch and uh, uh, you know i can get idea that how many students are there so that depending on that i will you know analyze and i will try to explain everything related uh, you know by considering all all the students like that and i can say sql sql is very important uh, in all the it industry i can say sql is the backbone but especially for data science and data analytics sql is the backbone subject sql is backbone for data analysts if you want to become a data analyst or if you want to learn any of the visualization tool that may be tableau or power bi you should have sound knowledge on sql also so if you already know sql that is well and good or else in this course we will uh, teach some basics of sql along with that uh, if you have the perfect knowledge on sql in all the concepts that will help you a lot because nowadays for tableau developer role or data analyst role almost all the companies first round they will take on uh, sql second round of interview they will take on tableau or power bi like that so yeah i suggest you uh, if you completely new to sql also i will cover almost all the basic concepts in our course and uh, if if it is not necessary please learn a uh, sql also from the outside also like you know the advanced concepts of sql that will be very helpful for you okay so without any delay let's start our first class okay so so before we start understanding what is tableau first of all let me tell the definition of a tableau as you can see my screen tableau is a business intelligence application that is it is a bi tool we can call it as a business intelligence bi tool and basically we can also call it as a visualization tool basically tableau is a reporting tool okay we will call all these terms business intelligence application the reporting tool visualization tool because by using tableau we will create tableau reports i mean by using any of the visualization tool we will create basically some visuals or graphs and we will analyze the data and we will create some reports okay so before understanding what is tableau let's try to understand what is a visualization tool or what is a visualization okay so basically what uh, as i said tableau is a visualization tool right that means we will create reports or visualizations by using tableau so what is visualization if i ask about what is visualization basically uh, you can see see uh, as one of the student i did remember the name as you said you already have knowledge on cogniz right uh, so it may be you already know what is visualization tools and reporting tools but again for every student perspective i i'm just explaining everything from scratch okay uh, yeah. yeah all right so as i'm saying tableau is a visualization tool so what is visualization let's try to understand the term called as visualization first so suppose just imagine i given you some uh, one file okay in that file maybe we have four or five pages okay in that pages we have i have uh, there is one story in it okay basically i given you one file in that file there is one story and that story is in the form of paragraphs and there are about 4 to 5 pages in that uh, file okay so i ask you to read that complete story to you know to understand that story either you have two ways reading that complete file or, or maybe something like book or instead of reading that file <coughs> sorry if i ask you to if i show you one video if if i show you one short video which consists of 3 minutes in that 3 minutes if the complete story is present which way is better for understanding uh, the complete story reading book or watching video of course by both the ways we can understand the story it's again it depends upon our personal choice but the most easy way most understandable way or most quickly we can understand the story by obviously watching video right instead of reading the complete book am i right yeah, yes 
see if suppose i given you one book in that book there are five pages in that five pages there is a complete story instead of reading that five pages instead of understanding instead of reading that paragraphs if i just quickly show you two minute two minutes video you can easily understand what is the story inside that what is the content inside it right because basically you know both the ways we can understand what is it but the better way is watching video because basically human brains reacts to videos faster we can understand easily and quickly something by watching visually correct right yes yeah and same like a raw data so convert into the graphical method yes yes so that is the importance of visuals okay instead of reading some boring text or numbers we can visualize everything in the form of graphs i just given you some example random example about one story instead of that you know uh, instead of just we can even imagine instead of reading a newspaper the news from the newspaper we can even understand both the ways but reading entire newspaper or something like that if we watch it we can easily and quickly without many efforts we can do the same task very easily right this is a small example but again if we talk about the data in real time whatever you know whatever we do whatever uh, everything depends on data only on daily basis we will use uh, many things you know like we will use many applications right right maybe in, we, we all will use smartphones we will use many applications maybe social media applications something like youtube facebook instagram maybe shopping applications like we have many online shopping maybe websites or applications e-commerce websites everything even online payments we are doing daily basis on by using apps only right like paytm uh, google pay phone pay like that everything nowadays what we are using everything we are using uh, many applications or we have many websites basically whatever we are doing that everything will be nothing but the data okay if we use any of the application if i talk about amazon if we are using amazon application in that amazon you know in the front end we are just opening the amazon app or website we are selecting some products correct and we are placing some order but at the back end what it happens there should be one database where they will store all the details of amazon maybe products right all the products information customer information at the back end there will maintain some database that database we will have all the data only inside that database correct again see whatever we do whatever we use in our daily life in the back end that all the things will be stored in the form of data only so whatever we are using applic all the applications maybe instagram maybe facebook everything at the back end that will be stored in the form of data only and to improve their business they will understand that data and they will create some graphs or they will analyze they will make some analyzations basically they will analyze that data as i said we will store everything in the form of data and they will analyze some data and they will create some graphs analyst teams data analyst teams or tableau developers or whatever it is all those uh, people what they will do on that data they will analyze the data they will create some visualizations they will create some graphs and you know by seeing that graphs only that particular company maybe amazon maybe netflix anything any company whatever they will store they will store all the data in the form of databases okay being data analysts or you know tableau developers or power bi developers whatever tool we learn being analysts what we will do we will analyze we will create some graphs we will analyze the data over there okay by using that uh, whatever analyzations we created whatever graphs we created by seeing that graphs only that particular company maybe amazon people amazon management can understand easily about their business okay see how like you know i will give you examples going forward but this is what it happens in the real time whatever graphs we create by using that graphs only you know nowadays 
everyone in every business every domain they are using data analysts and tableau developers because of this reason only let's let's see i am in a flow i just went into some other point sorry for that for now we are trying to understand about the importance of visualizations right i hope you are you now you you know uh, with that you maybe books and videos example you understood that by watching some videos we can analyze the data very easily right in the same way instead of reading some you know understanding the data basically we will store the data in the form of numbers or text right if you can see my screen this is some data this is basically the screenshot of excel correct i have three columns here first column is employee name second is employee number and the third column is salary i have some data here okay see this is the employee stable data i can say you can see we i have some 36 rows rows here i have some data here right instead of understanding this kind of data some you know if instead of understanding the textual data or numerical data if see if you can see this screenshot if i ask you to tell me quickly what is the employee name who is earning highest salary can you just give me the answer in few seconds one or two seconds can you answer me you can understand by seeing the data but it will take some time right am i right yeah. yes yeah so if i show you some picture like this and if i say tell me the employee name guys am i going uh, uh, am i explaining fast whatever i'm saying is that understandable for you yeah yes. great so if you have any doubts you can just stop me and you can uh, just ask me okay and please let's keep this session interactive so that uh, you know i can also able to understand whether you are getting my point or not okay so i will just try to explain a little bit slowly so here i shown you one of the screenshot of excel file here i have employee details i have some 36 random data here 36 rows of random data here if i show you the screenshot and if i ask you tell me the employee name who is earning the highest salary or if i ask you tell me the employee name who is earning lowest salary still you can find the answers okay still we can understand this by seeing the excel file also or else by applying some filters we can able to find that but it will take some time correct yes yes that's what if by applying some uh, options here some uh, filters here you can understand but it will say take some uh, take some time but instead of showing this excel file if you shown you if i show you this file let me tell you this is the screenshot of the tableau uh, graph okay this graph is called as horizontal bar graph i will show you how we will create this bar graph but basically if i show you this graph instead of this screenshot if i show you this screenshot this is again the same uh, data i created this graph by using this data only if you can see we have employee names here i have each bar is representing the salary of the employee right if i show you this picture and if i ask you tell me the employee name who is earning highest salary if you understood the concept here it will be just we can answer it in one or two seconds right because the biggest bar is indicating the highest salary here right because you can see here we have biggest bar like this we have some 60000 this is the biggest bar we have 60000 this is the biggest bar right this is the biggest bars here correct so the employee name is pavani pavani is the employee who is having the highest salary of 60000 in the same way we have another uh, employee employee name is sri she also having the same 60000 and she is also having the biggest bar see basically all these bars you can see here is you know indicating the salaries of each employees okay so if you know that point with the one glance within few seconds you can understand what is the smallest bar what is the biggest bar correct the smallest bar what is the smallest bar here this one right we have 10000 we have avan and we have shubha with 10000 salary so by simply seeing this graph we can easily say what is the employee name uh, what is the employee name who is earning highest salary and what is the employee name who is earning lowest salary very quickly correct am i 
am i clear yeah so this is basically the tableau screenshot so instead of understanding the data normal data like this we can able to if we create some visualizations we can understand the data very quickly okay this is uh, how we will create the i mean this is the screenshot of tableau in a, in after some time let's see how i create how we will create this tableau graphs okay but basically this is this data is converted into this format and by use and by seeing this picture we can understand the data very easily we can understand whatever the requirements whatever the questions we can able to understand the data very easily and quickly right so next we have futures of tableau uh let's not discuss this in this class okay i'm just skipping this uh, i will explain about the features of tableau in the next class okay first today in today's class as this is our first class i wanted to explain you the basic parts and i wanted to explain you about the you know user interface of tableau maybe so for now for that reason i'm just skipping this features of tableau in this class maybe in the next class we will discuss about it okay so give me a second before understanding anything else let me i just uh, shown you i just given you basic idea about what is visualizations and all now let me uh, tell you what is the effectiveness of tableau okay why tableau kind of thing okay basically by learning any of that visualization tools we have many visualization tools in the market for now uh the most trending tools are tableau and power bi as you all know any of the visualization tool as we are learning about tableau for now let's stick to tableau so if i talk about the effectiveness of tableau what uh, in the sense if we learn tableau you know by using tableau it helps us to understand and analyze the data very easily okay as i said in every domain tableau or any visualization tool is one such platform you know one such course or one such subject which is used in every domain it won't stick to any single domain okay it it is used in every domain maybe all the domains like maybe banking finance e-commerce websites uh, okay uh, or uh, any health related uh, like you know pharmacy kind of companies if you are you know we have many companies like civil based companies electrical companies all the companies even in politics even for sports everywhere every companies this data analysts or tableau developers are being used this is one such field which is you know useful in every companies and every domains it won't stick to one single domain that is the reason i said if you are from non it you, that particular domain knowledge suppose let me give you one example if anyone completed the btech and if they are from civil background okay they will have some knowledge on that civil data right so after learning this tableau they can even try for civil based companies like that if i talk about any pharmacy students they will have some knowledge on about their pharmacy data right basically here what we will do once we learn any tableau or any visualization tools basically we will deal with the data on the data only we will create all the tableau graphs so if any one of the student are from non it backgrounds even they have the choice to choose their own domain also okay that is why we tableau developers and data analysts is having huge demand in the market right now as you know data science is having huge demand in the market right now everywhere in every domain data science ai as you know all know all the abi uh, ai tools are using everywhere and all these subjects are related to each other okay if i get some time uh, going forward i will explain what are all the domains we have in data science if you needed upon your if you wanted to know only i can explain oh uh, you know what all uh, job roles are there inside the data science and if you are you know once you finish this course you can either uh, apply as a just give me a second let me share my entire screen
basically the first if i if i talk about prerequisites you need to know sql sql to learn this course and if you have knowledge on sql and tableau here in durga soft we will also teach sql server basics here i won't say uh, we will finish we will cover all the sql concepts but whatever sql concepts required to learn tableau that sql concepts we will explain i will explain okay so if we learn sql and tableau you can even apply for tableau developer position once you done with this course you can apply for tableau developer position and you can apply for data analyst position as well okay but you should learn sql also sql and tableau if you learn both the subjects you can apply for any of this roles tableau developers or data analyst okay and as i said this subject is completely it will uh, used in all the domains we have many opportunities you can uh, get placed in uh, anywhere very easily okay and one more point to make you understand let me give you one real time example how tableau is really useful in today's world so just i'll quickly give one example so that you can relate to with the real time data after that maybe i will explain you about what are all the sql products we have okay and i will explain what is the course content what products we are going to cover in this course and if time permits i will explain you the user interface of tableau desktop also okay so let me just quickly finish all of this so as i said first quickly i will give you one example after that i will explain you the tableau products okay so as i said uh, previously we are using many applications right many uh, everywhere in every business tableau is useful okay so what is the effectiveness of tableau how we will use tableau in all the businesses let's try to understand basically generally why anyone will do the business to earn some profits only right correct to earn some proper profits one needs to understand their business deeply correct like you know they need to understand about the their business data like if they are facing any profits or losses if they are facing any loss what is the reason behind that loss and you know what measures what measures should they take to increase the profits like that they need to understand each and everything then only they can you know run their business successfully correct basically are uh, you know what steps or what measures they need to take so that they can get some kind of profits is the main thing what every business uh, you know every business magnet or every business people should know correct so to analyze that everything to analyze everything detailly and to understand how to improve their business they need some data analysts or visualization developers okay to understand their business deeply to understand what is required to improve their business there comes the picture of data visualization tools okay by using these tools we can create some reports by analyzing their business data okay whatever business they belongs to we will analyze basically we will deal with the data only we will create some reports on their data and we will help them understand about the things like in what areas they need to concentrate to gain profits okay i can give you any example if uh, to make you simple if i uh, if i take an example of swiggy we have food application like swiggy zomato right if i talk about swiggy we i can we can talk about any example if i talk about netflix we have on uh, many ott platforms over there if we talk about any of the companies uh, like maybe amazon flipkart or if we talk about any of the branded companies like if i talk about you know we have many cars if i talk about mahindra company like that you know if we are talking about tcs we pro anywhere every business every field every domain ev any example we can take every business every example they has they are in need of tableau developers or data analysts to analyze their business let me talk only about swiggy 
we all know what swiggy is right we will use swiggy to basically uh, order some food online correct suppose by using tableau we are analyzing the swiggy data the data of the swiggy suppose let's talk about any one location okay if i am talking about hyderabad location by using tableau i am analyzing the usage of swiggy in hyderabad okay first what we will do we will collect the data from the company like you know if i joined in any company if my client is swiggy then i will get the data of them to me correct maybe last six months data they will give some data for me and on that data i will start working that data and we will start analyzing that data by creating some charts okay in that we can able to show them like depending upon the factors there will be many factors depending upon the factors we will try to analyze the data okay uh like maybe the factors maybe will be decided depending upon the business like you know we can uh, able to create like in hyderabad in which areas swiggy is used more and in which areas people are not using swiggy much like that or else on uh, we can also tell on which restaurants we are ordering food frequently right or on which restaurants people are not uh, ordering food much like that based on the factors for every business there will be some factors based on that factors we will create the graphs and we will you know uh, we will create some graphs we will create some dashboards what is graph what is dashboard everything technically we will going forward we will learn but after creating all such graphs we will send that graphs to the business people and by analyzing or by seeing that graphs only they will understand you know what type of measures they need to uh, they need to take to improve their business for example if i am talking about swiggy after creating the graph i can show them that you know uh, you know according to the factors i used swiggy can increase the price of the items or restaurants from you know frequently ordering ones or else they can give some discounts on those restaurants which sales are less like that basically we will analyze about their sales okay and we have user details also like we can even analyze we can give the user details to swiggy like which users are using swiggy much and which users are not at all using swiggy in latest uh, like you know in some particular period of time by analyzing that by seeing that what swiggy people will do they will keep on sending them notifications to the users and they will uh, offer some discounts or they will offer some free coupon codes in order to tempt them to order something right this is what it happens in real time also okay it's not only swiggy in every business to improve their business uh, profits we will analyze their data we will create some charts by seeing that charts only you know by seeing our visualizations only business people will take decisions okay which helps them to improve their business okay i hope whatever ex uh, example i have given uh, you got my point and you got some basic idea about how it works am i clear guys is that clear yeah, yeah yes yeah okay so uh now without wasting any time let me just quickly explain you about the tableau products all we have the basically i given you this example to make you understand about the importance of tableau and to and also you can relate how tableau will works in real time okay now let's discuss about the tableau products we all we have this many six we have six different tableau products in tableau first one is as you can see in my screen we have tableau desktop right tableau desktop is the one am i sharing my computer screen you can see my screen right yes yeah we have tableau desktop we have tableau reader tableau public tableau server tableau online and tableau prep just give me a second here
all right so we have this many tableau products if i talk about tableau desktop this is the place where we will create graphs okay this is the place where we will create graphs we being a uh, tableau developers or data analysts basically we will work on tableau desktop only okay so along with the tableau desktop we have this many products okay one is tableau desktop we will learn practically how we will use tableau desktop we will install the tableau desktop in our laptops and we will learn how to create the graphs by using tableau desktop only okay along with that we have this many products if we talk individually what about each and every product we have something called as tableau server right you can see here i have something called as tableau server what is tableau server in the sense basically tableau server is used by tableau administrators or i can call it as tableau admins for every role for every in every domain almost for every role we have developers and administrators as you all know right in the same way we have tableau developers for tableau also we have tableau developers we have tableau administrators okay basically tableau administrators will use this tableau server okay tableau server is one such product of the tableau which is used by tableau administrators by using the tableau server what we can do you know we have many options over there if anyone is using tableau desktop we can track the usage of tableau desktop by using tableau server that means all the details like which user is using tableau desktop in any of the company you know which user is using the tableau desktop and how much time did he used what if we if we did any major changes all the things all that data will be tracked will be saved in the tableau server so basically tableau admin people can track the usage of tableau desktop by using tableau server and we have many options over there something called as we have uh, some special i can say to better understanding i can call it as settings or we have some options over there you know we have something called as Uh, we can call it as privileges if i talk technically but i will explain you later very detailly about that basically you know all the settings all the permissions you know who whenever we create any of the tableau report who can view that tableau report okay uh, if you can uh, if you know whenever we are sharing any file in google drive okay we have some options right we can share that file even for only only view purpose correct or else we can say we can share that file as edit also okay that means however permission we will give if we give only view that file only can be viewed by the user if we can give edit permissions even they can edit that file right in the same way tableau files also after creating any tableau reports or tableau dashboards whenever we share that tableau dashboards if we want to share you know we have many options there you know all that options can be given in tableau server like you know basically we can call it as permissions like we have some concept called as user roles you know how uh, basically for which user we need to give which kind of permissions i can say okay we can do all the all those things in tableau server okay along with that we have one separate concept called as schedules this is very important concept and what is schedules how we will do everything whatever i'm discussing here everything we will learn very practically whenever we are learning about the tableau server here in this course not only tableau desktop i will teach about tableau server only tableau server also that is not the complete concepts of tableau server we will we will cover some concepts of tableau server where which i whatever i discussed till now like you know about scheduling what is schedules how we will create schedulings what are all the tableau permissions we can use what are all the uh, you know everything whatever i discussed till now everything i will show you practically in our tableau server class basically we will have almost 3 to 4 classes we will take 3 to 4 classes to understand tableau server okay not only tableau desktop we will cover this part also again as i said tableau admin people will use tableau server but if we have some idea about tableau server if you mention that in your resume it will be an added advantage for you that is the reason i will cover tableau server also okay next we have something called as tableau reader okay this is another product let me just clear the screen 
next is tableau reader this is also one of the product we can, by using tableau reader we can just you know uh, we can uh, get we can get access of all the tableau files this is something like you know if we save any files in our computer or our laptop we can open that files at any time correct without anyone's permission we can just access that files we can read if if i store any text file or pdf file in my laptop any time i can just open that file without even anyone's permission i can access that file right in the same way whatever graphs or whatever visualizations we saved in the tableau reader all those files can be accessed by the users without even you know even without permissions they can access the files very easily okay that product is called tableau reader just for understanding purpose and i'm explaining you this is of no use okay next we have something called as tableau public tableau online and tableau prep okay tableau public is nothing but you know mostly this tableau public is used by journalist or bloggers okay where they can post their you know ta tableau dashboards tableau graphs whatever they created if they want to post that articles online you know they will use tableau public i can also say tableau public is same like tableau desktop okay even we for learning purposes also we can use tableau public okay even we can install tableau desktop or we can install tableau public but there is some differences because i will say what are all the differences between tableau desktop and tableau public uh, whenever we are installing the tableau desktop okay basically tableau public is mainly used by you know to just uh, upload any graphs or if they want to upload any articles online uh, you know that bloggers or you know uh, what we call if any of the we have many bloggers in websites also right so if any of the journalists or bloggers if they want to you know post any graphs in their articles they will use this tableau public as being students for learning purposes also instead of desktop we can download tableau public and we can create graphs but the main thing here is whatever graphs we create in tableau public that cannot be saved in our local laptops suppose if we install tableau desktop and if we create any graph we can save that graph in our systems right in tableau public if we can install tableau public and we can create graph but that graph can't be stored locally everything will be stored in online only in some clouds only tableau tableau clouds only it will be stored we cannot store them in the laptops that is the reason we will install tableau desktop only for practicing but it the work is almost same we can create graphs only in tableau public also okay now we have something called as tableau online this is again important tableau online in the sense for all our you know all the tableau developers and all the data analysts we all should have our own tableau online account okay by using tableau online account what we do basically i create suppose i created one tableau graph okay after creating one tableau graph in my project i want to share that uh, tableau graph or tableau dashboard either to my manager or to my client or to any of my team member like that if i want to share that tableau dashboards or tableau reports whatever i created i can share by using this tableau online account by default all the tableau developers or data analysts we will create our own tableau online accounts something like in a gmail accounts something like that we will create tableau online accounts and by logging into this tableau online accounts only we will share all the tableau you know dashboards or graphs to any of you know any of our clients or managers like that basically all the tableau graphs will be shared by using this tableau online accounts so in our course i will show you how we will create this tableau online accounts and how we will share the tableau desktops to anyone okay so this is also will be covered in our course and next we have something called as tableau prep if you can see my screen we have at the bottom we have something called as tableau prep correct so tableau prep is nothing but i can say it is something like an etl tool we have etl tools in the market 
ETLs in the sense basically extraction, transformation, and loading, right? We will perform all the ETL steps in Tableau Prep. Tableau Prep is one of the, I can say it is one of the ETL tool of the Tableau. If we want to perform any uh, cleaning steps, if we if we want see basically by uh, we will deal with data only. By using data only, we will create all the Tableau reports, right? If we want, before creating any Tableau graphs, if we want to clean the data, if we want to, you know, perform any ETL operations, we will use Tableau prep tool to clean that data. Okay. So this is about the Tableau prep. Again, in our course, we will also cover this Tableau prep tool also. Okay. So um, basically, as you so this are all the products we have in Tableau. So in our course, we are going to cover this Tableau desktop. Okay, let me use another color. Once we are done with our course, you can able to understand our main focus will be on learning Tableau desktop. By using this only, we'll create all the graphs. But along with the Tableau desktop, we will learn how to deal with Tableau server. I mean, what are all the settings we have in the Tableau server? What is type? What is something called as we have? I said we have something called as scheduling over there, right? What is scheduling? How we will create schedules by using Tableau server? We will learn that along with the Tableau server. We will learn how to create the Tableau online account and how we will share the files. We will see and we will learn this Tableau prep ET, the Tableau prep tool also. Almost we will have three to four classes on Tableau prep also. At the end of the course, you can able to get all this knowledge. Tableau reader and Tableau public, uh, we can ignore this Tableau reader completely. We can ignore. This is something like just, you know, as I said, if we have any, if we, if we saved any uh, Tableau reports in Tableau reader, we will just view that uh, files. That's it. It is of no use. Tableau public, as I said, this is again same as Tableau desktop. However, we will create graphs in Tableau desktop. We can create the graphs in Tableau public also. So remaining this three Tableau products we will cover in this Tableau course. Okay. Am I clear? Did you got some idea about what Tableau products we have? guys is that clear yeah <clears throat> okay so once you are done with this course i can say i will cover sql server basics we will cover sql concepts we will learn all the tableau concepts along with the tableau concepts we will learn what is tableau server i mean we will learn something about tableau server tableau online and tableau prep okay and the course content i will show you very quickly course content after maybe 5 minutes and after and all the course duration is of 40 days starting from today okay and yeah and the fees of this uh, course is only 6000 previously we used to charge 10000 but from last batch durga soft is providing a good offer the full, the fees is only 6000 and let me quickly show you the course content also after that So this is the Tableau index. You can see first introduction to Tableau. Next, we have something called as Tableau architecture, Tableau features. Then I will show you the Tableau desktop installation process. What is measures? What is dimensions? What is continuous and discrete data? We will learn very clearly. Next, we have Tableau products, which I just discussed now. The Those, all the Tableau products, I just explained to you what are all the Tableau products we have, right? So the same concept. Go and going forward detail, we can understand. One second. Next, we have OLT, OLAP and OLTP. That is difference between database and data warehouse. Also, we will learn. We have a co concept called as Tableau access. After this, we have something. Uh, as I said, I will uh, explain you about the SQL Server. Okay, I will I will make you install SQL Server, and I will explain you all the SQL Server basics. Like starting from uh, if every time what we will do uh, in every batch if 
all my students have some basic knowledge on sql i don't show how to create the database and how to create the table but if at least i have one student who is completely new to sql i will start explaining from how to create the tables i will explain all the sql commands i will explain what is primary key and foreign key and i will explain up, up to joins concept okay up to joins concept if we understood about sql that will be helpful for you uh, to uh, even under to even uh, you know work with the tableau okay so i will uh, cover all the sql server basics after that i will show you how to generate tableau reports from sql server that is we will create tableau reports by connecting sql server next we have something called as tableau connections data types in tableau then one more important thing i don't create all the tableau graphs by using simple databases i will use real time database only i will explain you what database we are going to use and i will show you the restoring i mean how to re i will give you that database to you i will show you how you will restore that database in your laptops after that we will con we will start our advanced concept in tableaus from here like we have concepts called as joins data blending filters in tableau hierarchies actions parameters how we will create and how we will use parameters we have some uh, more concepts here okay row cells marks this are all some of the uh, we will see everything detailing next we will start visualizations we have many charts in tableau we will learn each of that chart very practically we will create very practically that too with the real time data database we will create all the graphs we will have some many inbuilt graphs or in tableau we will discuss all the inbuilt graphs along with the inbuilt graphs we we have some advanced charts also we will uh, learn how to create all these charts also manually like we have donut charts funnel charts waterfall charts lollipop charts word call word cloud charts along with that next concepts are we have tableau sets tableau groups we have tableau functions we have different functions in it we will learn each of them very detailly next we have something called as kpis drop lines trend lines and forecasting lines next very important we have tableau dashboards and tableau stories we will learn practically how to create the tableau desktop tableau dashboards then as i said i will show you how we will create what is tableau online how we will create tableau online and everything next we will cover tableau server concepts next we will cover tableau prep etl tool concept i will show you the installation process and i will explain everything very practically this will be our last topic then i will uh, discuss some important interview questions so this is basically the course content okay which we are going to cover in this course i hope i am clear and if you have any doubts you can ask me or else uh, if you have five more minutes of your time i will show you the user interface of tableau and let's see how to create a tableau report quickly or else we can continue that in our next class also no problem as you wish yeah hello yes please navin yeah i have a syllabus could you please check on that so i have preparing for tcs and pt okay Oh, please allow me to share my screen. All right, just give me a second. Can you see share screen option, Navin? Yeah. Yes. 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 Please share your screen. Yeah, now it's fine. I cannot see your screen. Yeah, just a moment. Click on share screen, select your entire screen and click on share once again. Yes, now yeah, okay. I can see your screen. Okay. Uh, open your syllabus. This is the exam pattern. Okay, uh, fifty-two. Okay. One second. So, connect to and transform data. Connecting and transforming the data of various sources. Okay. Data transformation in Tableau. Customize fields.
ओके ऑल राइट नेक्स्ट एक्सप्लोर एंड एनालाइज द डेटा बाय यूजिंग कैलकुलेटेड फील्ड्स जस्ट गिव मी अ मिनट या कैलकुलेटेड फील्ड्स क्विक टेबल कैलकुलेशंस कस्टम टेबल कैलकुलेशंस फिल्टर्स टॉप एंड बॉटम एंड even one more thing i am planning to do the tableau desktop specialist exam by conducted by the sales force yes so yes after, we have that certification correct yeah first i am planning to do, do this so i want to clear from your side is it possible so uh, as every content is available with this parallel yes 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 i am just saying calculations filters bins groups syllabus yes everything is whatever i uh, just now whatever course content i have shown you everything is all about this one only if uh, is is there anything else or scroll your page down charts dashboard screen box interactivity to dashboards okay format dashboards publish content okay yeah even they are asking about tableau server also okay fine next tableau cloud just a second how to publish content schedule data updates manage okay right next that's it we are going to cover all the concepts uh, in our course whatever you shown me just now okay almost yes i saw all the topics almost 99% we will go into cover if there is any one concept we cannot cover i am not assure you we are going to cover 100% but almost i saw all the concepts uh, you can also see the course content which i have shared to you uh, but it is you know i just um, i mean i mentioned it only in the subject wise right on the topic wise only i mentioned in my course content in that topic we will have some concepts and sub topics that is what they mentioned very detailly but as you can see in your uh, that particular uh, syllabus they included not only tableau desktop they included tableau server and tableau online accounts also right we all whatever you shown me apart from that we will learn tableau prep also additionally there is uh, we are not missing any concept we will cover all the concepts what you are showing now and basically tcs ian is the one and uh, as you said you are trying to clear tableau specialist certification right the course content yeah. is completely created on that basis only many of my students will do the same after finishing my you know course they will uh, try to clear that uh, certification also so all in that certification questions also i mean i know what type of questions we have in that and uh, all the concepts is you know uh, will be covered in our course content for that certification also yes even before i am familiar with tableau so even i working as you prepared all you before okay so i can making some dashboards and pivot tables using google sheets then i need to upgrade for tableau so okay so basically by by using pivot sheets that is uh, excel files do you use excel files there by pivot tables uh, i use uh, google sheets for that google sheets okay google sheets and after creating how you will use tableau with that yeah so well, first thing so we make the dashboards for that so okay. i can import the data from the uh, csv files then i deploy it into the tableau okay so then we can use a uh, familiar so about i had that what i did in the google should same like that i can follow the you can the same process yes yes in the tableau directly basically you will create by using pivot tables and csv files google files you create that and you will import that into the tableau part correct yes even our leads so told that so if you have the some raw data so if you want to visualize so for example we have some sales data so we okay. want to know the reason why so we yes. are like uh, we are creating the maps for that so Correct. like so basically you have some basic idea about tableau how we will create graphs and dashboards yes, now you yes. wanted to learn the uh, you know advanced concepts like maybe how we will use filters in the tableau how we will use calculated fields correct yes not only that we are using we are use some statistics for that and even we can use in um, for seaborn for this 
okay okay uh, by uh, you will include python also and uh, yes, yes right 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 okay i Sometimes got your point sometimes we can use python it's i am i am in non it okay so okay fine so we are not much familiar with that so but uh, in some cases i know some basic things so i can use these things to impress our leads for this okay i understand okay now if you talk about uh, st uh, you know my statistics in the sense you may use outliers you may use that all the concepts basically you are trying whatever you learn whatever knowledge you have you just trying all those concepts to include in this only right you know in in tableau or in by using google sheets only that is really great actually without learning python and without learning the complete tableau course if you can able to do this much of things if you learn them you know if you learn python pra practically if you learn tableau practically you can become a perfect uh, data analyst professional Yeah. Okay. You just you need to learn the concepts. You, you know, almost you are saying whatever you said. Almost you know, thirty percent of the tableau you know. There are yes. some seventy percent which you need to cover all the concepts of the tableau, and so that you can implement all that concepts in the tableau graphs, whatever we create, right? Yes. All right. That's good. Even great. I want to shift to the IT. So right now my designation is associate analyst at Wipro. Okay. Okay. So you using this certificate, so I can move from internally from my organization. But yes, of course, using the certificates. If not, also as you are only, you know, you don't have any gap in your career. You are just twenty three. Yeah, for that reason only I joined. Yeah, even if it's that is that is a great thing. This is the yeah. you know without wasting any time, you took a step. You are only twenty three class. passed out student and you already working right so if yes. you i'm i'm just explaining you i'm just taking your example if you did not attend this tcs and that is the best way that is the best way if you can clear the test you can directly get placed in the tcs if not also if not tcs if not certification also as you are a recent graduate as you are currently working if you learn sql properly if you have sound knowledge on sql and if you learn tableau you can directly get data analyst Role or Tableau developer role very so easily in any of the companies. Yes, what what is my idea is right. Right now, my designation is associate analyst. So right. I am not. I am in non IT. So I what is like I can gain knowledge. So I can use this experience to can upgrade to another correct, organization. Correct, correct, so, correct, so, correct. By keeping by currently working also by after learning you can keep the same experience and you can directly get very yes. easily you can there are many opportunities nowadays if we have gap also we have many opportunities in the tableau field if you don't have gap that is uh, that is something like uh, very easily you can get it no problem okay and uh, but you as I said everyone you need to learn SQL how much knowledge you have. in sql that much quickly you can impress the interviewer to get a job for every student i'm saying for even for monica and even for you that is the importance of sql in tableau nowadays so uh, do you have knowledge on sql navin yeah yes i have a knowledge great great then then no worries and monica you also don't worry i will cover basics of sql and as we are done with the time in tomorrow's class i will show you the user interface of tableau like you know how we will uh, basically i will show this uh, i didn't share my screen right yeah. so can what i have is... any doubts for this exam for tcs and pt any doubts in the sense we will cover any anyways dumps, we will dumps. cover uh huh I am asking about dumps for clearing T T C S N P T. I didn't get your question. Sorry. Yeah, I am asking about the dumps, uh, like previous dumps for clearing T C S I on. I have an exam on October fifteen, okay. so I need to plan accordingly. So I am asking you, like, do you have any dumps for this exam? Like, are you in this field, right? uh see basically you need to uh you know learn the concepts all the concepts in eventually in the concept wise only after that only you can apply all the things practically right okay so parallelly whatever i will teach in the class just practice everything and just try to uh, you know daily basis if you practice the concepts uh, you can get some idea how you we are how we are using all the concepts right in the same way maybe you can get some uh, sample questions from google also nowadays we have many resources right you can try in that way also basically but to apply 
to uh, you know to answer any of the interview questions to understand any of the interview questions you should have first concept wise subject wise uh, understanding and subject wise knowledge right so as going forward however we will uh, you know cover concept wise uh, i mean subject to the I mean, concept to the concept you can easily understand everything and uh, according to that concepts you can prepare no problem okay and in tomorrow's class i will show you the user interface of tableau that is how we will create our tableau graph first graph let's see in tomorrow's class okay okay monica yeah all right uh do you have any doubts for me monica Sorry. No, I don't. Okay, I don't. Okay, 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 fine. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. Let's let's meet in tomorrow's class, Navin and Monica. Let's create. Let's see how we will create our first graph. Okay. And if you don't, if you know SQL, that is well and good. If you don't know SQL also, we will cover the basics of SQL again. Uh, all the basics of SQL we will cover in this Tableau course. Apart along with this, if you want to really understand, uh, if you want to become pro in SQL in all the advanced concepts, parallelly I will teach SQL also. I already started today only one fresh, ah, uh, one new batch on SQL in the morning session. That is from nine a.m. to ten a.m. IST. If anyone is interested, you can even join that SQL classes also. You can parallelly learn SQL and Tableau. It's up to you. And again, one more important point I forgot to say. For now, we are using this timing. That is nine p.m. to ten p.m. Ten p.m. Going forward, maybe in a week, we will just. you know uh, we will connect one hour before like you know our timings will be from 8 pm to 9 pm ist is that okay for you yeah yes okay this i just forgot to say that one after one week maybe uh, i'm not sure maybe one week or uh, maybe within 10 days before 10 days only we will just uh, you know maybe connect one hour before 8 pm to 9 pm okay all right uh, if For now, let's uh, let me end the session. Let's meet in tomorrow's class and let's see how we will create our first graph. Okay. Is it fine? Yeah. 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 yeah all right. Okay. Then bye bye. Let's meet tomorrow.